So the first episode we're going to be doing is about how I met your mother. So Garrett wants to explain to us how. What is How I Met Your Mother? How I Met Your Mother is a show that follows the life of Ted Mosby. And, and his friends. epic search. Yeah, Ted Mosby and his friends. And the epic search to find his true love. And all the shenanigans that go along with yeah, it. Yeah, nine seasons of shenanigans with crappy ending. So Good ending. No. That's anyway, crazy. so for me, I just... I Okay, look. When, it's, when you showed me the show, I liked it, right? I binge-watched it, you know, and everything. But the more I watch it, the more I realize that it's sort of childish at times. It's sort of immature at some times. Like, these are like 20-something-year-olds or 30-something-year-olds, and they're just acting like... They're like teenagers or something like that. Sometimes it's just it, that's I don't. How people, that's how people act nowadays. Well, in Friends, they act more mature than people in High Your Mother. That's because they're boring. Um, I like the story. You know, like how he's trying to find his true love and everything. That's pretty interesting. Uh, Barney is interesting. Robin, is okay. Ted Mosby, I hate sort of because he he's always he always makes like the wrong decisions and he. It's a part of life. Though, well, man. okay, he like he he tries to find true love, right? But then he always like distance himself and breaks up with these girls who are okay matches. He's just being too picky most of the time, and <laughs> it's kind some of like the episodes are about him being too picky. It's like you're spending a life with the person, you kind of have to be picky. No, you. Okay, uh, whatever. How how do you feel about the show? I think I was just saying that. I think that I like all the characters except for like. Lily's okay, but Marshall is one of my favorite characters, and Bonnie's one of my favorite characters. Mm-hmm. All the characters I like enough. They're all, and the whole show is just hilarious. Yeah, I um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I like like I said before, I when I, I binge watched the show, I liked it. It's just I, I don't know. Don't you see, feel like sometimes they make jokes that are too immature, a little bit? No, I think they're funny. You so you you will say here that they don't make in they don't make any immature jokes. Well, I mean, it's a show. It's supposed to be entertaining. It's supposed to be like it's not going to be real real life, but it's supposed like to be like Barney had some good. It has some good lines, like the bang bang song. No, I, I like. I that. wasn't that, immature enough. Well, uh, I liked it because it was immature, but like sometimes they just like I don't know what you mean by immature. It's, it's like they make jokes that are so stupid that a kid could get, you know, like a 9-year-old could get. I feel like it's just Corny like, jokes, you mean corny jokes are great. Yeah, it's corny jokes. Corny and jokes sometimes they just make like stupid sexual jokes that aren't even that funny. Too. They're just I mean, they, and they expect to get a laugh out of a studio audience. Aud- a studio audience, but it's not like a real studio audience. It's just a, a laugh track. Yeah, a laugh track, and it's not even that good of a laugh track, too. It's just the same thing over and over again. It's just a slight laugh. <laughs> what a part of a laugh track. <laughs> in other shows, in semi shows, you got that guy going, <laughs> <laughs> and then like Fred's has a good one too. Like whenever like well, seventy re- show, I think was the live audience, wasn't it? Mm, the live- I actually don't know, but anyway, um, and in Friends. Uh, they had the studio audience like whenever there's like a really funny part, would be like, oh, but they don't have any of that in like High Mention Mother. Because that's a little bit weird sometimes. That's not weird. It's laugh track funny. It to, makes it funny. laugh track comes to a parent sometimes. I don't know, maybe. Um, anyway, so what? Who's your uh, or what is your favorite episode or season from this? What would you say would be that? My favorite episode is probably the one where the bang 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 yeah, bang, the bang, bang bang song. Yeah, that was the episode where. Barney realizes that he's been making Robin sad after they broke up. Yeah. And they were, like he was like you know trying to bang all these chicks and everything and he made he made her feel bad every or actually everyone made her feel bad at some point. Like they were saying like, "Oh, Barney's moved on and stuff like that." So, yeah. Um for me, uh, my favorite episode, I really can't think of one right now. Pro- probably someone didn't do their research. Someone didn't do their research. Yeah. Well, hmm yeah, I can't think of a favorite episode. They're all sort of the same. I mean, they, sort, they sort of all blend together. Like Most episodes are like, if you miss it, you really don't miss that much. I mean, it's a pretty long-running show. Well, nine seasons, I guess. But Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's yeah. just some episodes where they don't blend. Like, like the season nine, maybe, is the one season where like you want to watch all of it so you see how it ends and all that stuff like that. But there's, just, there's, not, there's too many episodes where they just blend it together for me. 
What a um, <clears throat> what is your who's your favorite character? Did you say Marshall was your favorite character? Marshall's my favorite character. Yeah, mine's Barney. Probably he's just the funniest character though. Barney's funnier than Marshall. Mm, Marshall's just Marshall just makes a bunch of geek jokes that try to get geeks to like him. Because he's from the show Geeks and Freaks. No, he's actually from that show, I think. But anyway, he's a great character. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just think Barney's funny because, well. I mean, never do. Yeah. He's also in a series of unfortunate events, which I cannot wait to start watching because I've heard it's really good. Mm-hmm. Um, so, okay, um, are there any improvements that need to be done to the show, or is there like a worst part that you hate about the show? <coughs> uh, just little things here and there. I mean, the laugh track sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's the same thing over and over again for nine seasons. Well, I don't like laugh tracks that much in the shows, but. Besides that, I think it's a pretty good show. I, I wouldn't change anything about it. I mean, some of the seasons got a little bit boring at times. Like, the last season's a little bit boring. The last like, season? Yeah, because yeah, it takes place over, like, two days. I hate I hate when shows, like... Do, well, except for the last I hate when shows, days. like, do flashbacks of, like, past events and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah there were like, some episodes where, like, it was really confusing, too, sometimes. Because, yeah, like, it was, like, like also like, the past, present, future. Stuff like that. Like, the one where... Like, the one where, um... He's talking with all of his friends, but he's not really talking with all of his friends. But Is this him sitting in the bar alone? Yeah, and he starts running to his wife and talking to her and saying, like, this, 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 and that. Like, yeah, that one. Like, I that confused the crap out of me. Like, oh, so is that how you met your mother? You just decided to run to some random person's house? <laughs> it didn't confuse me. It was just annoying. Um, I, I did like the mother's story, though, how, like, she had, like, a boyfriend in the army or something, and he died, or he just she just had a boyfriend. And the mother? She, yeah. She has, she has like a boy like there's an episode that's all about her how your mother met me, oh, wow. and it's about like her all of her interactions with her friends and his friends and stuff like that. Um, I thought her story was interesting, you know how she like she lost someone and then like she meets this one guy, but then like he proposes to her but she can't say yes because for some reason she just can't let go of her boyfriend or whatever. But yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, for me, the laugh track was overused it was the same thing over and over again and my biggest thing or it was a little immature at times episodes blended in together but the biggest thing was the ending I thought it was so stupid how they killed off the mother and then had Ted end up with Robin like it just like come on dude well I mean it was a kind of a good I mean that it was wasn't the, a that good was ending that's, that's, the whole show, that's what the whole show is about how I Met Your Mother and How She Died Next Day. <laughs> well, the whole, it was like How I Met Your Mother is like the deceiving title. It's like How I Met Your Mother, but it's actually about how they met Robin. Could have it, just called the show How I Met it's Robin. It's called a, uh, what's, what's it called? A false title or something? I forget what it's called. A, a misleading title? A false deviato or something. I forget what the Deviating what title? No, I don't know. It's like the... I just, I just, like, when I saw these last few episodes, I was like, okay, so Robin and Barney are going to get married and stuff like that. Ted's going to meet his mom, or it's not his mom. <laughs> He's going to meet his wife. They're going to have kids and everything. It's going to be a good ending. You know, they're going to, like, I think, like, I thought the ending was going to be, like, um, Ted and Robin finally say, like, we're over each other. Like, for good. Like, they're just, they're just done. Something. I know they've done it before, but not for real. But they're meant for each other. No, they're not. That was the whole show. You were actually meant for I mean, I just... I it's also about them. how you have They, they decide to life. give the mother cancer or something, and then boom, she dies. I wish it would showed her more, though. Yeah, she like, they only showed her for, like, the end, the last season, but only showed her for, like, a few episodes. Mm-hmm. And then they show, like, the episode all about her, like, how she met him. They needed more towards me. But, um, yeah, I, I just thought that ending was so stupid. They could have ended it so much better. Like, that alternate version you told me about, I gotta watch that, or whatever it is. Um, so do you have any theories on the show? Like, any, like, Easter eggs or something? There's actually one Easter egg in there. Well, not really Easter egg, but, like, it's something that happened in the background the whole time. With the what? Um, in the background, uh, these would have to be placed in random episodes. There'd be this couple in the background. Uh, there's one where they meet, right? And then there's another one where they want, he pr- proposes to this girl. And this is happening in the background, so you don't notice this. Mm-hmm. He proposes to the girl. Next one, she's pregnant. Next one, they have a kid. And then another one, another episode, he's graduating. And then, and then, I think it was one more shot. I think it's either in season nine or season eight or season seven. It was like the the girl. She's like old and stuff, but like 
her she had the ashes of her of the guy in there and her son was like right there like comforting her and everything right so that happened in the background i had no idea you know um sort of a i thought well going back to like um an improvement re- just real quick was that there was a part in, it was a random part in an episode i don't know why i put it in there but it was the episode where it was saint patrick's day and ted's like drunk or whatever because you don't know yet but he like bumps into this girl He's like, oh, sorry. And then she's like, no, it's okay. She was just some random background chick. But I thought that it was actually the mother that he bumped into. But you didn't know it yet. I thought that would have been so much better. If you watch the episode, you'll get it. Because, like, it's just some random background person. Like, he, they could have done, like, what they usually do and just say, like, oh, sorry, but, like, have it really quiet. Like, don't record that part, you know? But mm-hmm. for some reason, they had that part saying, oh, sorry. And she's like, no, it's okay. And she walks away. I mean, even have her as, like, a mother's friend would have worked, too, for me, but... They didn't do that for some reason. No. Um, but yeah, but so you you don't have any theories on this show? I I don't think there's a theory. To be yeah, honest. it's not really a show to have theories on, I guess. Unless you're unless before it ends, then yeah, you have a theory. Um, do you think this show could possibly have a spinoff? Yes. How I How I Met Your Father. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely. I, yeah, I was gonna say that too. I thought because I like the mother. She was hot. She was a good actor, actress, and I thought that she was... There's really... enough storyline there. Yeah, there's enough story there, because they didn't delve into the, all the years together, so... Plus, there's also the parts where, like, they could they could reference around the same thing, like, where the building gets destroyed in the show, mm-hmm. and, and Ted's building goes up instead. Yeah, she, like... That well, could be in the current events while she's doing something, like, background events of the, How I Met Your Mother could be playing in How I Met Your Father, but just more focuses, focused on her. I, I think um, that'd be one. Yeah. Do Do you think that the, like Do you think they could have made like a How I Met Your Mother movie? I think they could have out of the last like two seasons probably, because like the last season was just two days and then that sort of dragged on. A, a movie lot. off of the show. Do they do that kind of thing? I don't know. Make Make a movie called How I Met Your Father. Maybe. No, uh, maybe instead of making a series, they can just make it a show. <coughs> maybe, instead of making a show, they can make a movie. Yeah. And then maybe they could. Well, I guess you can't really make a prequel out of this, but something. Yeah, I don't know. Make a I prequel. Just... Could you? How I Met Barney. How I Met Barney. Mm, no, because then it, <laughs> at the end of the show, he'll meet this different Barney and he'll die. <laughs> um. So. Do you think okay now for replay value? Would you like binge watch this series again, or would you just? Watch I watched it I watched episodes here and there a lot. Like every so often, I'll just rewatch. I think I've rewatched the whole series twice. Like I start from the beginning and just slow down around season nine now. But yeah, I rewatch this every now and then. Yeah, for me, I guess like I I want to get back to watching again because I haven't watched it in a few years. Or not a few years. I haven't watched it in like a few, like about a year, I think. I haven't watched this show. I might like binge watch it again, like I do sometimes with friends and stuff, and just watch like a few episodes here and there, maybe. I don't know, do something like that. But I think it has okay replay value if you haven't watched it. It's, in a, while. it's a pretty, it's like moderate replay value. Yeah. Um. Okay. So let's get into the rating, Garrett. What would you rate this show? Now remember, uh, for TV talk, we rate the um, re rate the show on how. Um, like the its entirety. So like if if it's we do a sh- if we do a show that's already like is, if it's still going, the rating could possibly change maybe. But for right now, the, the, since How I Met Your Mother ended, we're gonna do a rating on you know the whole series. So Garrett, what do you rate it as? Uh, my overall rating would be an eight point five because when I first watched the show, as you were saying, like you binge watched it, like I was always waiting for the next season to come out, and as soon as it came out, I watched that whole season in, like a week. And so I would say that it was pretty high. It was pretty high in my book, and I, it leaves me wanting more episodes almost. And I, I, the overall show was just funny and had a good storyline. And I, it's sort it's sort of relatable a little bit, wouldn't you think? Like every guy is trying to find his Miss Right in some way, or yeah, vice versa with girls and all that. Yeah. yeah so it sort of puts you in this situation. Um. For me, I would give the show a 5.9. Yeah, I know. Just give me a second. I need to get something. All right. Now, the reason why I give the show a 5.9 is because I told you before, I thought, you know, um, it was a little immature at times, the laugh track, the ending was a big, like, it. that took off, like, four points there, because that ending sucked. I like the ending. 
I like the mother so much, and I felt bad for her that she gets killed off, and she's only in, like, one season. You know, and she was at the end of season eight, but... <clears throat> I just, I really like that. But this show is good. I mean, I know people liked it. I know it's got, it's got positive to mixed reviews a lot of places. It's really good. I mean, I'm surprised it went long for, or went this long for nine seasons. I thought that was pretty interesting how they did that. But, um, overall, yeah, I think that, um, it's a good show to watch if you haven't watched in a while. And if you want to watch, like, one episode here and there... Or if it's your first time watching If it's your first time watching this, yeah. uh, I would recommend, yeah, give it a recommend try. It. Yeah, I would recommend it if you, if you, yeah, I'd just be like, recommend it if you want to watch it with a girlfriend or something, or maybe watch it with your kids. I don't know why you want to do that. But... Or just watch it by yourself. Uh, yeah, something like that. Anyway, so the final you movie. Watched it, you watched the whole seasons, all the seasons by yourself. Then you just watched it. Yeah. What was I, what was I saying? Oh, the, I thought you were saying it's bad to watch by yourself. I'm, like, I'm not saying it was bad to watch. I don't think oh. I said I wasn't paying attention. I'm trying to get the average. Anyway, so <laughs> the final average for this show is a 7.2. I think that's actually better than I was expecting. That's pretty high up there. Mostly because of you. I gave it a 5.9. <laughs> yeah, well, but, I, I mean, like hey, I, I thought... I think a, I think your overall view got, like, changed a bit. It's because of the ending. The ending was bad. I hated it so much, dude. Why kill off the mother, man? And because if it wasn't you're gonna actually, kill her off, it wasn't actually about the mother. If you're gonna kill her off, give her her own show or movie. The, it wasn't actually about the mother. It was about it Robin should, the whole time. That's what pisses me off. Like it, the title was. It's like I forget the, what the word is, but it's like it's a distraction, just to distract you from the actual what the actual show is about, which is actually about Robin. So they just sort of well, basically what they did. How I Met Your Mother is the story of Robin Shabatsky and Ted Mosby. Basically, what they did is give you at the end of season nine, episode twenty four, they gave you a big middle finger saying, "Ha ha." With this show, us we we also just give a bunch of spoilers, by the way. Yeah, we do give spoilers, man. We gotta freaking remember to do that. I'm so sorry if you were not expecting spoilers from the show. Oops. Sorry. I mean, it's already been out for like two years now. Yeah, it's been, it's ended for two years. Yeah, two three years. So I mean, when this show was like. When the ending came out, everyone like watched it. This show was pretty well watched throughout its entire. I think when it first came out, a lot of people watched it. And then yeah. in the middle, but I think around I, I think around season six or seven, it started getting a little. Well, as soon as it ended, no one watched it anymore. Like you, well, yeah, no one like, talked about it after it ended. Like no one talked about it. I after. think now, well, I don't know necessarily if people watch it a lot, but I mean. They watch it enough that it's still on Netflix. I think it's not, and then it's not just because like, oh, it's a show on Netflix that a lot of people want to watch. It's like, yeah, it's well, true. Well, no one references it anymore. Like, who said? Like, when the show was out, everyone would always be like, "Legend, wait for it, Dairy." Like, yeah. everyone would say that all the time. Yeah. But nowadays, no one says that anymore. And yeah, it's, it's, it's it's only been off the air that, for two two years. Now. That sort of happened. I mean, Friends gets even some stuff now and again. Like but, they yeah. had a reunion le- recent or not recently, but they had a reunion a few well, years no, ago. Well, no, everyone's because does the well, Joey I mean, things and makes references to the show still. Even yeah, because it's really funny and and it's... people make references like to shows like The Office still. Yeah, The Office was a great show. We'll, we'll have to do that sometime. But anyway, um, so I think that was our final thoughts, right? Yep. Or, my name is Trent and Garrett signing off. See ya.